Welcome, in this video, I'm going to show you every trick and tip you need to destroy the London system as black. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and let's begin. So, after white plays d4, we respond with d5, and black plays bishop f4, we play the stunning move c5. This counter gambit is very useful as many people haven't encountered it. This is known as the Steinitz counter gambit. There are many possibilities after this, but the most popular ones are capturing the pawn or defending. Let's first look into pawn taking c5. So, when white takes our pawn, we play knight c6, defending the center. Our main goal is to attack the center and control it as the main motive of the London system is to take control over the center. Therefore we take white out of their comfort zone and play a bit differently. Anyways, after knight c6, white will most probably play knight f3 to limit our central development. Now, we can develop our bishop and later play e6, attacking the c5 pawn. White has no good moves to defend so they will continue defending and we will castle queenside, activating our rook. However, if white defends with e3, we take on their pawn. Most probably, white will recapture with their pawn. If white makes the blunder of capturing with their queen, we punish them by playing knight c6. Queen a4 is the only reasonable move and then we play e5, striking the center. Nevertheless, if white doesn't blunder and take with their pawn, we attack with our knight. White may play c3 to try and complete the pyramid of pawns but we play f6, reinforcing the center. We finally develop our minor pieces and take control of the center. Instead of defending with the pawn, white has the option to defend by playing knight f3. We immediately immobilize their knight by pinning it to white's queen. Both sides develop their knights and reinforce the center. We finally castle queenside. 